Regional authorities in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, reported that six civilians have been killed and ten others injured in recent strikes conducted by Russian forces. According to Ukraine's national police, the attack, which occurred early on Saturday, was carried out using drones. Images shared by authorities depicted fires raging along city streets and near various structures. Kharkiv Mayor Igor Terakov conveyed the grim toll via the Telegram messaging app, stating, As of this morning, there are six dead and ten wounded as a result of the night strike on Shevchenkivsky district. Terakov further detailed the extensive damage inflicted, with residential areas, multiple high-rise buildings, dormitories, administrative buildings, a shop, a petrol station, a service station, and vehicles all affected. Photographs released by the police on Telegram showcased the aftermath of the attacks, with fires visible in civilian populated areas, including near residential high-rises. Reports indicated that the strike occurred shortly after midnight. Ukraine's military, in a statement on Facebook, asserted that its air defenses successfully intercepted and destroyed 28 out of 32 drones and 3 out of 6 missiles launched by Russian forces. In a separate incident targeting Maladini Livka, a village on the northwest outskirts of Kharkiv, authorities confirmed no casualties. Following the strikes, air raid alerts remained active in Kharkiv and other parts of the country, including the capital, Kiev, for several hours. Kharkiv, situated just 30 kilometers, 19 miles, from the Russian border, has been subjected to recurrent bombardments since the onset of Moscow's invasion in February 2022. Recent weeks have seen an escalation in attacks, with a drone strike on Wednesday resulting in four fatalities and significant damage to residential buildings. In an interview with Politico published on Thursday, President Volodymyr Zelensky's chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, identified Kharkiv as the primary target for potential Russian offensives in May or June. Ukrainian officials have appealed to allies for increased support, particularly in the form of advanced anti-aircraft defense systems such as modern U.S.-made Patriot systems. However, U.S. military aid to Ukraine faces obstacles, with a $60 billion funding package currently stalled in Congress due to staunch opposition from Republicans. Thanks for watching. Visit our website headlinecast.com and please subscribe our YouTube channel, hit the bell icon for update news. Also follow our Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter.